My beautiful friends it's amanda here and today we're gonna try out a bunch of new makeup i have so many fun things here that i want to test out and play with i know that i want to do full in-depth dedicated reviews to at least some of these items if not most of them but for now i really just want to play with them get a first impression and also get a feel for which things you're most excited to see more about, what would be most helpful for you. So today we're just going to do a casual get ready with me, first impression, trying new makeup. What other YouTube keywords can I include? <laughs> I have the new Urban Decay Foundation. This is the Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. We'll see how this goes. Lightweight, medium buildable coverage water sweat and humidity proof well it's already very hot and humid here in north carolina so we will definitely be able to get a good wear test on this if you want another video i'm not going to be able to do a full wear test today but we'll at least check it out and see how it goes i have the new ColourPop liquid light glow drop so we'll try out one of those i have the kaja dewy bars some new lip balms from Finding Ferdinand, and I have a couple of new eyeshadows to test out, but I am dying to use this new Lethal palette. This is the Mellow Grove palette, and their last offering that was in a similar format, the Midnight Serenade palette, was one of my favorites. And you know that I love this color story. This would be a great companion to Flora Story, in my opinion, so I will most likely do a full dedicated review for this palette, but I really want to use it today. So let's get my hair out of my face. We'll zoom in and we'll just start, we'll just start slapping some of this makeup on and see how it goes. This is what my face looks like up close. Got this little weird zit that I can't get rid of here. Been battling it for like two days. Since we're going to do a foundation try on, let's just see the starting point. I have redness and sun damage and wrinkles and crinkles and that's just the way that human faces look let's put some foundation on that human face and see how it goes here's a close-up look at the urban decay face bond foundation this is retail priced at 40 us dollars and it comes in 40 shades this has a natural matte finish and a medium coverage it is supposed to be lightweight and blurring it has some skincare properties since it has that niacinamide in it and i am always a little bit wary of things that are claiming to be matte and waterproof and long wearing because i do have incredibly dry skin even with the most heroic skincare efforts i do tend to not love the way that very matte things look on me but I have to say, when you see here the side-by-side -side with foundation applied to half of my face, it looks pretty darn good. Now, when we get a little bit closer up, you can see that matte finish isn't maybe the absolute best of the best for me, but it looks pretty good. The coverage looks great and the shade match is great. So in general, first impression is not too bad. Not bad. A little bit more matte than I typically prefer but not too bad the color match is fantastic i can actually see myself continuing to get good use out of this foundation which is not something i typically say from a matte finish however i would probably pair it with a hydrating primer maybe add some more hydrating concealer on top but in general, this wore pretty darn nicely throughout the whole day for me after this application. I just don't think this is the best thing for dry skin. I'm going to use a little bit of this Nomad Face Mist, dab over with a dry sponge and see if I can add a little bit of moisture in and see if that helps. I do have very dry skin and I have what is definitely considered mature skin. So I think this might just be better for my normal to oily peeps, but we'll we'll give it a shot. It definitely looks better than I thought it was going to. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch. I think you can see right here, it just looks dry on my skin, but I have 
dry skin. So unless something is hydrating, it's just not going to be the best texture in the world for me. But it's not terrible. It's better than I thought. Could be worse for sure. I think we can help it out a little bit by adding some hydrating concealer. So let's try that. This isn't a new thing. This is the Flower Beauty Serum Concealer. Maybe if we add a little bit of moisture look into the face here, that might help. I'm just going to use the same sponge, dry sponge, to dab that in. It started out from just being a lazy girl, but I actually love blending my concealer with this dry sponge. Yeah, I think that helps. It looks pretty good. Not mad at it. Let's do a quick little brow gel before we move on to the cheekies. I am using NYX, the brow glue in the shade Dark Brown here. It's a lip balm time. Always my favorite time of day. These look so cool. This is the Finding Ferdinand Delicious Balm in Lucky Cat. And it has an Asian pear scent. Oh, it's a little... It's kind of the harder waxy feeling. Oh, that color though does show up really nicely. Tinted lip balm is my favorite type of lip product, so I'm excited for these. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Wow, the color is really pretty. Since I chose that lip balm color, I'm going to use the Dewy Bar in the shade Fig Smoothie because I think it kind of, it coordinates really nicely. This Dewy Bar product, which looks like the tiniest, cutest deodorant ever, <laughs> comes in six shades. It's priced at $25 each, which is pretty steep. But if you want to see swatches of all six shades, then I do have some swatches up on my Instagram page if you want to check that out. Here's what I want to do. Just a little like I was a little bit nervous when I stamped this onto my face, but luckily this was super easy to blend out just with a little fingertip tap. Wow, stunning. Often blushes are the first thing to disappear on me and I wore this for several hours and it still looked really, really good. So I'm impressed. This looks perfect with this lip balm color. Let's add a little bit of glow now. I'm going to use this pinky shade. This one's called Petalite because I think that it will really work with the vibe of the rest of the colors. Now there's a lot of ways to use this product. I do think this is one that I probably need a dedicated review video because there are so many ways to use this type of product. But I'm just going to straight take a little bit and just add it right on top of my makeup. You could mix this in with foundation. You could wear it under as a primer. You can mix this with your body lotion and wear it as an all-over body glow. I found that a little bit goes a long way with this. It is quite bright and shows up really well on my skin, so I only needed a little teeny tiny bit. One drop was enough for both of my cheekbones, and then I had a little bit extra left, so I just started highlighting a couple of other of the high points on my face, the inner corner, the cupid's bow, and the brow bone. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but I do have a new Essence mascara to try out too. This is the Lash Without Limits Extreme Lengthening and Volume Mascara. We're going to do some eyeshadow first though, of course. I probably will do a dedicated video for this Lethal Cosmetics Mellow Grove palette, so I'm not going to do the whole finger swatch, brush swatch comparison thing here. That will be better served in a dedicated video, but I did want to give you just a close-up look at this palette before we dive into it. Of course, I start every one of my eye looks with my favorite eye primer. It's the Ulta Matte Eye Primer, and I'm going to do a very simple, straightforward, little springy look, starting first by combining these two matte shades, Whisper and Tranquil. I love to mix my matte shades and customize my mattes. I have always done this and I cannot resist. So it's the perfect way to get the shade and the tone that you want. I'm a big fan of mixing and, you know, it's also just a good way to get more shadows into a look when I'm testing. I always want to try to use as many as I can while still making an eye look that I personally would reasonably wear. So I am adding a little bit of this dark pinky red shade right on the outer part of the eye. I did expect this to be a little bit more maroon and it ended up being a lot more 
red, at least on my skin tone. Now for what I expect will be my favorite shade or one of my favorite shades in this palette. This is a gorgeous pinky lavender. It's loaded with shimmer. It has a little bit of a shifty, maybe almost holographic type of sparkle to it. And then I added just a little bit of this bright greenish white shade on the inner corners. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add some of this Essence Lash Without Limits mascara. This one's retail priced at $4.99. Gotta love the Essence super affordable mascaras and they've always worked really well for me. This wand has a really short stiff bristle which really separates the lashes and it gives me a nice natural looking length. It's definitely more length than volume but I like a nice soft natural looking lash especially with an eye look like this. So here you can see what just one coat looks like on one side versus no mascara on the other side. Now that the clip that you're looking at now I have it on both eyes. This is my finished look. I don't have any complaints. I feel like everything was either decent or really nice. I can see myself using and loving pretty much all of these products and my finished look is simple. It's pretty, it's soft, it's springy and I I'm super comfortable. I love this. I ended up wearing this look all day long for all of my errands and my mom stuff and I was comfortable and I feel like my makeup looked good. No mascara smudging. The foundation held up decently well. The main thing was I had to reapply the lip balm which I don't mind because I love reapplying lip balm. I feel like this was a very successful trying new makeup video. We didn't really have any duds. I guess we'll have to wait and see how these things wear. In general, the one that I'm the most nervous about is this face bond foundation. I'm afraid that this will not wear well on my dry skin, but it did play nicely with the blush and highlighter. And in general, it feels pretty comfortable. I think it looks a little bit dry already on initial application, so that could be a little bit dicey. But in general, I feel like everything worked really well. I will let you know if there are any major changes down in the description box as I wear this throughout the rest of the day. But I'm pretty happy. I like the way this turned out. I feel cute and springy and sparkly. I definitely want to know what you think of the things I've tried. Have you tried any of these new products yet? What do you want to see a dedicated video about? I really want to do more with this new Lethal palette, but I feel like I could easily do dedicated reviews, in-depth application demos, wear tests, all that type of stuff with pretty much anything here today. So let me know what you think would be most helpful, most fun to watch. What are you curious about? I always love to know what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Whew, it's been a minute since I filmed. Will I remember what to do? gonna be great. I had a really good enchilada for lunch. Just in case you were wondering. Is it almost 90 degrees? Yes. Am I wearing a sweatshirt anyway? Yes. I forgot to put my rings on. Dang it. Hold on. I'll bear it back. Okay. That's better. Eh? What? <laughs> Aren't these so cute? These little moon and stars earrings. I am making a conscious effort to wear more pink and more blue this year because those are my least comfortable colors and I'm always just trying to do something new. And I ordered some new half lashes. I'm gonna try real lashes, real with glue lashes, not magnetic lashes. I'm on a journey. I'm always on a journey to try something new, okay? I'm a Sagittarius, I love adventure. Thanks for watching. I'm glad to be back. I was doing a lot of traveling and family stuff and that was awesome. And I've spent a lot of time with friends lately, which really just fills my heart up and makes my extroverted spirit so happy. Um, but you know, I'm happy to be home and back to the filming life too. I just, you know, I'm just happy to be here. All right, I am the most matching queen today except for my earrings but that's all right look i didn't even plan that it just happened matching nails just make their way to me all right i gotta go because i gotta go pick my kid up but i'll see you guys later i'll see you real soon i'll see you cutie little peeps 
in my next video and I love your face and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.